Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss a new topic, which is the optical theorem. This is very important topic of the scattering theory. Okay. So first I will just mathematically show you what is the statement of the optical theorem. Then I will tell you what is its significance. Okay. So you know as uh, the scattering amplitude, which is the f of theta, is given as one divided by k summation of L 2L plus 1 PL cos of theta e to the power i delta L into sine of delta L. Now consider the incident direction. That is, what is the incident direction in scattering? That is the direction theta is equal to 0. Okay. So for theta is equal to 0, that implies what will be the value of cos of 0? That will be 1. And if cos of 0 is 1, then what will be the value of PL1? That is basically 1. Okay. So the, the legendary polynomial for uh, argument 1 is simply equals to 1. So let's replace this in this expression for the scattering amplitude. So you will have f of 0 is equals to 1 divided by k summation of L to L plus 1. So PL cos theta that is PL1 that is equals to 1 so no need to write it and then you will have e to the power i delta L into sine delta L okay now you know by Euler's identity you can write the e to the power i delta as i delta L as so you can write this e to the power i delta L as cos delta L plus i sine delta L so I am just going to replace this in this expression and you will have 1 divided by k summation of l 2l plus 1 so this will be cos of delta l plus of i sine delta l into sine delta l okay <clears throat> so this is f of 0 now just consider the imaginary part of this expression okay so there are two parts if you multiply this inside with this and this you will have two part one is real one is imaginary so if you consider the imaginary part of f of zero so you see what will be the imaginary part simply when you multiply this by this the coefficient then you will get whatever will the coefficient of i that will be your imaginary part so that will be basically one divided by k into 2l plus one sorry there will be a summation l 2l plus 1 and sine square of delta L as there is also one sine delta L outside the bracket so they will get multiplied okay so this basically uh, what you got so now let's multiply both side by 4 pi by k so you will have uh, let's uh, let's say that I multiplied by 4 pi by k here and 4 pi by k here okay so you will have 4 pi by k into imaginary part of f of 0 equals to 4 pi by k and there is one one k also there mission of l 2l plus 1 sine square of delta l so this thing first write 4 pi by k is into imaginary part of f of 0 is equals to so this will be <coughs> so this will be 4 pi by k Square summation of L 2L plus 1 and square of delta L. Okay. So this is nothing but sigma total, as you know. This is sigma total. We have done it previously. So you basically got if I substitute in place of this as sigma total as 4 pi by k times imaginary part of F0. So this actually this this thing is called optical theorem that, that you can express the sigma total that is the total scattering cross section as 4 pi by k into imaginary part of f of 0 okay so this is what this optical theorem says so if you are asked in the exam to prove this so you will have to do this derivation okay now what the optical theorem says is that if you have suppose some scattering potential and then you i'm just uh, explaining it in a layman language don't take don't take it too seriously okay so if you have uh, some incident particle so the incident particle will be will uh, will be coming in the direction theta is equals to zero that is theta is equals to zero as you can understand then there will be some scattering in the some, some angle theta one and some angle theta two and some will go 
undeviated okay so now if you if you see if the 10 particles are coming in from here then definitely in the the particle going in the same direction that is the theta equals to zero direction after the scattering will be less than the these number why because few particles got scattered suppose if two particle got scattered here two particles scattered over here so four particle got scattered so you will have always have six so if 10 are coming you will get six if 12 are coming you will get some different number but that will be less than this the incident direction so that's what the optical theorem says okay so this is basically based on the conservation of probability or you can say conservation of number of particle and this all all only happens in the case of uh, the uh, non-relativistic case okay because in the relativistic case the particle can get generated because due to their high energies okay so this is what the optical theorem says this is it is basically based on conservation of conservation of probability or you can say conservation of number of particles okay so that's all for today thank you very much